on a second. Hello and welcome back to Pixamon with my crazy family. Go ahead. Um, should I join? Yeah. Okay. Silent Logging. is finally getting on today. What's it Let's been? Like a week or two? Him. Uh, at least two weeks. Hmm. Oh. I I am in a very strange place. And I took three hearts damage. <laughs> oh, wow. Um, okay. I would get rid of the dirt. I don't have a shovel, I don't think. Let me check. Use your nope. fist. There shouldn't be a ton of dirt. All right, well, it is still my house on the exterior, apparently. Microblocks? Yes. Yep. Aha. Uh -huh. Are you going to come out and take a look? Uh, why you're sealed off? Okay. Um, it's a present! Oh. <laughs> wow. I noticed the barrels. Yes, I was giving you gifts of cobblestone, gravel, and dirt. Actually, I don't know how much gravel I gave you, but yes. I saw an Atkins and I thought it was taint. But we don't <laughs> have bomb crap, do we? No, we did not. And, you know, and if why did you dig down? Dig down? Yeah, there's like a hole that these guys are in. I didn't do that. Hmm. I don't remember doing that. But there's yeah, a sapling in there. I, I gave you... Oh, yeah, that was supposed to grow into a tree, which it didn't. My bad. Anyways, I got you these fancy uh, windows. I know how... Since you're never on yet, never had the chance to decorate, so I got you some carpet. Ah. Some wallpaper <laughs> and some uh, roommates. Mm -hmm. I think what I took damage from was uh, when I logged in, I was inside the spawner. Oh. <laughs> well, I have a lot of chaos ore. Wow. Now, I'm so glad you finally got on because I didn't want to post the videos of the prank until you actually experienced it. <laughs> but yeah, my roof seems to be where all the Vulpixes spawn. Very odd. <laughs> oh, we still I still don't have inventory tweaks. I should add that sometime. I hate fighting Vulpixes. They always use roar. Did I really build my windows like this? Like what? Like in the position they're in. It seems kind of yes. odd for me. Yeah, all I did was film with dirt. I guess I had a torch in the middle. Yeah, I believe you did. And it looks like the gym is up and running. More or less. I do not have the pistol stairs or any type of stairs at the moment. Hmm. And I do not have the rock type Pokemon train either. And for the dragon gym, I just had the middle. Oh, there's my crafting table. I'm surprised I don't have a lot more uh, apricorns gathered. Odd. 
I guess because ain't no one nearby wasn't gathering any. I was about to ha ask if we have anything for ore doubling, but then I remembered thermal expansion because we're in one six. Yep. I've been playing a lot of one seven recently. How's that going for you? I remember you had some trouble. Yeah, I had to start a new world. Uh, I'm about to the point where I was before, more or less. I removed a lot of mods, so that's why I had to restart. That uh, and I wasn't sure what corrupted my world. Yeah, let's just probably start recording with 7. Since it, well, I gotta start a new world anyways. I've been doing some interesting things with my mod today. Oh. Does Stomcraft API mean anything to you? Stomcraft API? Uh, not exactly. What is API? Uh, it's kind of hard to explain, but, uh, like, the Stomcraft API lets you, uh, interact with Stomcraft. I'm not doing too much, I'm just adding, like, smelting bonuses for the the Infernal Furnace. I don't know what you know about that. Uh, pretty much nothing. I think I may uh. need you to be a guest star on, uh, Monster again and explain that to me. Which stinks, because since my hard drive crashed, ladies and gentlemen, my hard drive had just up and died, so I lost all my worlds and everything. Uh, single player worlds and everything like that. All my games. The only reason I'm still in here is because this was on the server. So, what part of your computer has not died in the past two or three years? Uh, let me have a look. Oh, my, uh, what's it called? Uh, the CD drive tray thing. <laughs> and my fans. And the external hard drive. Just gonna organize up my chest a bit. Do you have a pulverizer I could use a little bit? Uh, do I have a pul- yes, I have a pulverizer. I'll be back to doing Feed the Beast videos as soon as I get the Feed the Beast server working. I want to play on the server, that way eventually I could add more people to it. And play with other people. People are overrated. Yeah, well, you're actually on the server with other people, so... So you can enjoy that, I can't. You have a lot of ender chests of the same color. Yeah. Um. I would have done it differently. Like item ducks going into one. Well, yes, but you know me. Inefficient, my game. Or my name. It's one of those. I just realized I was using the furnace, not the pulverizer, but oh well. <laughs> uh, it's happened to me a few times. I normally have my pulverizer on the left. Ah. Okay, and I will restore its configuration. Oh, what did you do? I changed it so it wouldn't output to the ender chest because I didn't know where it was going. Oh, yeah. No, it doesn't extract from the ender chest. Not yet. Hmm. Ah, the stairs must be here somewhere. Haha, <laughs> by the mis. Here we go. Yeah, by the machines. Let's 
So what's your plan? Um, I'm going to make a shovel and a hoe. Ah. I don't know what I'm going to put on the hoe. Maybe smite and knock back. <laughs> uh, because you can do that with my mod. Yes, that's one of the more fun things about your mod. I'm working on getting a Pixelmon intro. I just mm -hmm. don't know how I want to do it. Oh, in the 1.7 version of my mod, I added a food item that is a stew made of any kind of vanilla meat, uh, ex well, like animal meat, potatoes, carrots, and you put it in a bowl, and it restores like six hunger. Oh. Yeah, it's really good. Let me make some more potions. Okay, now... Yep, that's as far as it's gone that sense. Now. Alright. Let's look for some boss Pokemon. Boss Pokemon? Badness. Hopefully before this episode's over, I'll have a battle with Silent. I think you'd probably overpower me. Uh, what are your levels of your Pokemon? 20, 30, 18, and 31. Eh. Uh, right now, I have a 30, a 70, which will obviously be removed. Or not. A level 7, a 28, a 21, and a 40. Hey, I got the ornate stick recipe right. I need to fix the texture on those. Oh, what's wrong with them? They have the, the purple thing on the end, but the default is white now. Oh, they, they do have the purple on them? Yeah, I never uh, changed it. Man, I didn't even notice it. I'm like seeing no Pokemon over here. Oh. I hear a gold bat. Here's a Primplup, maybe? Primplup battling a Ghastly. But I forget, if you off. like hit a Pokemon, does it react at all? No, it doesn't take damage. Uh, but does it get knocked back? No, it, like, let me rephrase that, it doesn't get hit. Uh, so I probably made this hoe for nothing. Yeah. Well, I'll still carry it around and look cool. <laughs> uh, you gonna name it something? I don't know. It just, it seems like we gotta, like, have a setting off or something, because... From all the videos of Pixelmon I've seen, they encounter a lot more boss Pokemon than us. Yeah, I've only counted, uh, two or three total.
I'm excited about po new Pokemon remakes. Whoa. All this oil just coming out of nowhere. Just got unloaded, I guess. Oh, uh, these gold Dean and Magikarp and everything. I just know they're gonna die. Not taking Dronic damage, huh? I remember when it was a bunch of Seal and Dugong, they were dying in the oil. Hmm. I guess those just couldn't breathe out of water. I guess. Gonna try to get some levels under Teeny. Now, I tried to battle a snow golem, but it doesn't work. Oh, it doesn't? No. Why not? I don't know. Oh, it just doesn't take a hit? Well, I didn't really expect it to react to a Pokemon. Oh, that kind of battle. I thought you were going to attack it with your hoe. Why is there just a random block of hardened clay in the ground? Oh, yes, I had extra. I believe so. Or I just did that to confuse someone. on our search for boss Pokemon. Uh, if you ever really low on steel, just battle some Magnemites. Hmm. They usually seem to spawn in like taiga or snow areas, snow biomes, you know, stuff like that. Yay, Dratini. Magnemite. So, one of my favorite LPers is on YouTube is Pyro Puncher. He does a lot of Dratini. Pokemon Let's Plays, and right now, and he does pick some on. But he, he's also Dratini. right now doing something called uh, Pokemon Zeta. It's not a ROM Magnemite. hack. It's like it's. It's its own uh, game using RP one of the RPG makers Magnum. software, and it looks really good. I just downloaded the. Uh, they have Zeta and then they have Omicron. I downloaded Omicron, so I'm very excited about Magma, playing that Magma. later. Maybe I'll do a let's play about. It. I do not know. Magma. You got any future LP plans, Silent? Uh, not in particular. Goat Simulator didn't really work out, so I'm probably just going to play that on my own. A Bulbasaur! Go Kyogre! Yeah, is it Kyogre or Kyogre? I always just called it Kyogre, I don't know. I think I'll shake it up and call it, uh... Kogri, and they call Groudon, Grudin, Grodin, something like that. Why don't you just call him the guy that makes it rain? Groudon does not make it rain, or does he? He's talking about Kyogre. Um, I don't know why. I'm thinking about using Kyogre, switching out to like a Blastoise with a Damp Rock. Dimprock extends the duration of Rain Dance. Mm, I think it would only work for the Pokemon that used it. Yes, I'm not entirely sure what Kyogre does is actually Rain Dance. Probably not. So it is flawed. No, you sleep seat on me. You have a pipe set up that you're gonna have to try to explain to me. Uh. 
Okay. Uh, never mind. I have a feeling you understand it even less than I do. I uh, just know. Just tell me what pipe. Well, you have like tons of wooden pipes. Uh, what looks like obsidian pipes and void pipes. Ah, and the obsidian yes. pipes look like they would do nothing. I misunderstood what they did. I think. I think that was it. And mm -hmm. the wood pipes will extract. We're supposed to extract from a barrel or something. Extract something. Yeah. Put them into the. Doing that. Yeah, extract from the chest or whatever, and then void them out. Hmm. Well, you could have done it all with one void pipe, probably, or maybe two. I was too impatient. I mean, it takes too long. I had all the, I had like tons and tons of barrels full of cobblestone. I mean, you'd still be limited by how fast you can extract the items. Yeah. So where's the healing machine? It's uh... It's up top. Ah, finally captured this Bulbasaur. All it did was cost the Aerodactyl his or her life. His life. I see a Pikachu. Also see a trainer. Can't pass this opportunity up. Ricky! Actually, I can because he's only a level seven. No, level four. Ricky! And Rad and uh, no, not Rat Kate. Uh, Aerodactyl's dead. So, oh point. Ah, I see a Pokemon Center. Oh, this is a nice one. Oh, this is truly a professional Pokemon Center. Oh, and it has the, uh... Have I been here before? It looks like it has almost all the redstone lamps lit up properly. waypoint for it. I want people to find it again. And it looks nice. It's actually made out of wood and it's not jungle wood either. Well, wood and wool. Ah, just trying to plant potatoes and I'm eating them instead. <laughs> oh, are you at my place? Yeah. Grow your own farm! I, I ran out. Hey, I brought my own hoe. Well, at least he did that. Everyone should have their own hoe. Or two. What is that? Is that Lady Bu? Or oh, Lady Inn, level 19. Come on, where are you? Go to team. Yes. Tini is level twenty four still. Okay. What was what was that in the distance? That is Oh, that's my Pokemart. Gunpowder. What, what Pokemon drops that? Well, let's take a look at the Pokemart. It's empty. <laughs> But it sure does look nice. Don't think I ever showed upstairs on camera. It's also empty. Ah, no, I'm mistaken. There is a Fero in here. Okay, 
Okay. I can this Pharaoh is not actually in here apparently. It's, he's in there. There's an Arbok in my house. <laughs> hey, you got some more roommates then. Maybe he just wants to be your friend. further north now. Oh, here's Mikey, level 12. That this aerodactyl started out with Thunder Fang and Ice Fang. Hmm. Not sure how effective Ice Fang would be against Ekans. Oh, excellent. Aerodactyl is about to learn Roar. Ah, oh, scary face or Roar. Which one to keep, which one to get rid of. It's always a tough decision, one I'll probably wind up regret making. Hmm. I think overall, Roar is probably a more useful move. Do you have a vanilla anvil? Uh, I might, because I, I think I had to use it to name my chests, my uh, strong boxes. I want, I always want to call them chests for some reason. Ah, uh, yeah, I found it. If it's useless on this mod pack, I still put knockback two on my hoe. Yeah, I figure you would. Where are all the Pokemon? Karen, very little. I needed to train up some anyways. I feel like I'm carrying around a cane that I used to smack people who anger me. Oh, <laughs> uh, wow. All I'm missing is a monocle. A monocle? Why are you Mr. Peanut? I don't know. Hey, you sound like that peanut guy. Oh, what brand is it? Planter's Peanuts. No. Uh -oh. Goldie, Goldie. Oh no, Dratini fainted. I remember there was one episode of Agrarian Skies, I don't know if it's only uploaded, where you said spam was scary, and so I downloaded a picture of spam and inserted it into my video. Uh, I do not know, because I don't, I don't know, I thought I watched all of yours, but I'm not sure if I did. 
You've only uploaded like eight episodes, right? Or nine? Yeah, because we never agreed upon when to up upload nine. Mm. Yeah, well, your nine is actually my eight, if I remember oh, correctly. Oh, yeah, I think that's why we didn't do that. Yeah, and I also have a nine and a ten that never got uploaded. Yeah, I don't have nine and ten uploaded either. I wasn't sure if you even had them or not. Yeah, I have them, I believe they're rendered. Hmm. I don't think I've even edited mine. How long have we been recording? Uh, a little over 23 minutes. Hmm. Oh yeah, I have uh, rendered 9 and 10. may wonder, why am I doing what I'm doing? The reason is, so people will know I've been here. Actually, I just felt like doing that. You may be wondering, why am I doing silent? Well, you're gonna have to find out for yourself by watching my video. Of course. And that, folks, is how I get people to watch my videos. <laughs> Get back here, Growlithe! Stop swimming in the floor! So level 6, I use Kyogre and threw a dust ball. Let's see what happens. Yes, I captured it. Trying to avoid jungle areas because I don't want Mew to spawn. Don't want Mew to spawn and me not be able to catch it. Someone at your door. Me? Yes, I heard knocking. No. Ah. Maybe you hit your microphone or something? Or your table? Mmm. I guess. Oh, uh, one of my favorite changes I've made to my mod in 1.7 is when you eat a potato on a stick, you now get the stick back. Oh, yes, so I remember you. Tell me about that. <laughs> Zubats are flying around in broad daylight. Well, they were. Now they're gone. Oh, Carvana! 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 Is it? Oh, I thought that gold, bean, gold bat was on top of my head. Oh, I didn't realize it was a level 11. Let's, see, let's try Ultra Ball. Now, I'm confused. Just a second ago, it was like night time, and now it's daytime. Beats me. No, oh, Kavana, big cowger. Maybe if I just stay around the area long enough, then the, uh,. Oh, what are those things called? Bosses. Then the bosses will show up. What do you think? I don't know. I don't know what their spawning mechanics are. And you 
still wanted to do uh, Burning Skies at one point, correct? Yeah. Okay. I guess I'll just have to, like, uh, set up a server on my machine or something. Alright. Sounds good to me. We will probably shoot for recording day a week from today. Okay. is awesome. I do tend to get worried when I throw my uh, aerodactyl into the water. <laughs> I say, like, oh no, it rock is weak to water, he'll die. Oh, agility. Do not think I need agility. Me. I think that's it. That's enough to call it for this episode. Uh, thank you for watching. Please leave a like, comment, subscribe. See you next time.